Well, Senate Democrats today pushing a bill to help bankrupt homeowners restructure their mortgages, but a new report shows homeowners who have already been bailed out are now defaulting all over again. Steve Moore says deadbeats sometimes are just that, deadbeats. He's from the Wall Street yeah. Journal editorial board, and he always wins fa friends fast and furious. Way, Neil, is it comes. true, the, the rumor that you're going to be the next car czar? You know, by the way, whoever came up with that, Stephen, I mean, I'd call it car king, car omnipotent one, but I would not go with czar, because that didn't well, end too well. But It worked so well in, in Russia. You yeah, know? yeah, good ending. But what do you make of this, that we bail a lot of these homeowners out, and then uh, not all, I think it was about, about half fail all over yeah. again? Well, you know, what, the, one of the programs that uh, was started by the Treasury Department uh, about four or five months ago was to allow people to kind of get, get together with the mortgage originator and renegotiate the terms of these loans so that people who were underwater could, could uh, avoid defaulting or at least um, not have to walk away from their home. And, and we knew going into this that a large percentage of these people probably would still face trouble, you know, three, four, five, six months down the line, and that's what we're seeing. It's sort of good news that at least uh, half of these people are paying their mortgages on time, but it gets to the point about if we do a, 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 a moratorium on uh, de delinquencies and defaults and foreclosures right now, all that's going to do, in my opinion, uh, Neil, is it's going to push the problem three or four or five months down the line, and as soon as the moratorium is over, then you'll get a rash of new uh, foreclosures. But here's what, you know, people are very smart, Steve, and when yeah. I was talking to a few friends of mine who, you know, the last to pick up a tab at a restaurant, I might point out, but they were telling me, Neil, I hear there's a measure in Congress that if you're I think it was three months or more late on your mortgage, you're eligible for a bailout. So one of them right. was saying, I already missed last exactly. month's payment. I'm going to miss a couple more. So in other words, people adjust for whatever the rescue du jour is, right? They, they respond to incentives. You're right. If you tell people, look, if you're, if you're in delinquency for three months, then you're eligible. People will go uh, delinquent. Look, I do favor some kind of help for people who are, uh, can't pay their mortgages because it's certainly better than people having to lose their homes. But we should go into this with our eyes open. The other point I'd want to make about this, Neil, is there's kind of a culture right now in this country that people don't have to pay their bills. You know, that, that right. uh, you know, so, it's someone else's fault if you can't pay your bill. And that, you know, if you made, took out a mortgage you can't afford, it's a predatory lender. It's not your fault. We've got to get back to the ethic that, you know, if you made a contract and you agreed to pay something, you pay it. And after there's all, a concept. Uh, <laughs> there's 55 million mortgages out there today, uh, Neil. 50 million of us are paying our mortgages on time. Uh, it's, for a lot of people, it is a struggle to, to make that monthly mortgage check. And, and there's a degree of unfairness to say we're going to give all these benefits to the 5 million people who aren't paying their mortgages and make the people who are paying their mortgages and, it's a and very good the time, but Everyone's a victim. I've been saying for right. years, Steve, it's a thyroid condition for myself, but I'll, <laughs> I'll move on. But let me ask you about where this is going, because the same president holds auto bailouts, financial bailouts, um, a lot of times they don't work, and a lot of times they just buy time, which is what I suspect might be the case with the auto rescue. Well, so are we wasting money in that event? Oh, hell yeah, we're wasting money on this. I mean, I can't point to a single bailout we've done in the last uh, four or five months, Neil, that has worked, starting with Bear Stearns and on down the line. Well, the they argument keep... is it would have been a heck of a lot worse if we didn't. Well, and I never we... know how to play yeah. that because yeah. we'll never right. know. We'll never know what the counterfactual is, but the, right. but the truth of the matter is we probably would have been better off uh, if we had simply given a big tax cut at the beginning that benefits everybody, puts more money into people's pockets so they can survive this, uh, this tough time. I mean, because we're facing probably more job losses uh, in the months ahead. But again, we can't be a victim culture. Every American who's facing tough times can't feel like they're a victim. No, very good point. Steve, you're one of the best writers and thinkers I know. From the Wall Street Journal editorial board, Stephen Moore. Thank you, my friend. See you soon.